Hello awesome people, welcome back to another Software Inc tutorial and today we are going to talk about contract work and deals. Now let's start with contract work because that's probably the, the, the thing where everyone starts when they start off this game. Uh, so let's go to a contract work and let's see. So you have different options. At the start you will have less options than this. Uh, but I'm going to explain how you could make use of this, different strategies you could apply to make sure you have some money coming in whilst you're working on your first product, so basically to start off the game. Uh, and I'm going to explain sort of certain things to make sure to take a, take a look at before you actually get such a product or a, pr a project uh, or, you know, things to keep an eye on because they're very important for the future. Now, let's start off with contract work. Uh, as you can see, you have, we have here contract work. We have a lot of this stuff fulfilled, as you can see it during this playthrough. This is season five of my playthrough. Um, you can always find it on the channel, of course. Uh, we started off with doing a lot of contract work. We wanted to create a game as our first product. Um, so we needed some contract work because we needed uh, people to work on that game. So we needed a way to pay those people. Um, and what I like to do is I like to sort by income and then in this alpha, I wanna to go to the lowest income when you start the game, because those are the, the most easy contracts. Now for us, it, it is still outstanding quality, great quality, but that's just because we have a really high business reputation. At the start, you will see things like here, like terrible, uh, bad, uh, mediocre, is probably the highest you will find at the start. And you can all do those, uh, con do those contracts pretty easily, even if you don't have that many, that much skill in it. Um, even if you have like 0% art skill, you will probably be able to do a simple game asset, like terrible quality uh, thing to actually get some money. You won't get the full amount, of course, you won't get the bonus for outstanding work, uh, but you know, you can at least get some money in from it. You won't get a, a like, a, a, you know, you won't have to pay for it because it's that bad. Um, like, a, uh, what's the word? Like a fine, you don't have to pay like a fine because it's that bad. You can probably do it at the start of the game. You could probably easily, very easily do that. Now, uh, this is the best way to make money at the, at the early start of the game. So what I like to do is I like to start off a product, uh, set it on pause whilst it is in the in the first very first step, just the designing phase, and then do some contracts. And then every month or every day or whatever you want to call it, every single time you come into work, I want to do like one or two contracts with my main character and then the rest of the day work on the design of that first product. Uh, I feel like then you make a, a quite a little, little bit of money, you can buy your own stock or whatever you want to do at least in this per I think that actually that, that's not uh, doable in this in this alpha anymore to buy your own stock uh, but you can hire people from that money, uh, you can you know, train people, you can buy stuff for your company, uh, you could do a lot of things. Uh, you could also say, you know, what, I'm gonna do two contracts for the first month, work on my product the rest of the time, and then the next month I'm not gonna work on contracts anymore because I have made enough money for two months. It's basically up to you, uh, but it is, this is an easy way to make money. Uh, they will be like in this range of, of uh, income even if you if you're bad at it and you only get two thousand it's still two thousand bucks for not that much work actually um so just do those it's very simple very easy uh to work with and it's definitely something you could actually make a lot of money out but there are a few things you have to keep an eye on because uh if you're going to here you see that they have features so this is a 2d art feature which basically means that it's 2d art not much else uh, and you have a, you need an artist of 2D with any level. So basically you need an artist, you need someone that can do 2D art, which is, if we go back into specializations, again, if you have not watched this, uh, you can find more information on this on another tutorial video, uh, which is in the same playlist. Uh, but you can see here, uh, you, we have three stars in 2D with my main character, but if we go to like, uh, probably, okay, you don't have any stars, any specializations in art, uh, what's your art rating? Your art skill is 0.33%. This guy could actually work on this contract because he doesn't need to have any skill. He doesn't need to have any specialization because level means specialization here. It's the amount of stars. Um, he doesn't need anything, but he could do this, but it won't be outstanding and will be pretty slow because he's just not good at art. That's basically how it works. Uh, so you can do this at the start. You don't have to really bother with this because it, it will say terrible or bad. 
even if you have zero percent skill in art, uh, if at least if you if you can do it with any level, then you can easily take that take that contract and work on it. But keep in mind, it will be slower than if you have skill in it, of course. Uh, so that's basically what you're going to come after. The, the rest is not that important. Um, yeah, the minimum progress is actually important, but it will show a line on the if we okay. Let's just take this. So if we accept this, uh, we will develop, and you will see a line over here. Uh, it needs to be past that line, and that is, you know, sort of the the the, the place that they want it at least to be. So let's just uh, cancel it now. So that is how that works. Now, if you go into other things like doing this website, uh, this is also a bad example. Let's go for up for a higher one. So let's go for let's take art again. So if we were do we're doing this these game assets, we have ten months time, which is a lot longer, but we need a lot more to do. We have have a lot more to do. So it needs to be great. That's the first thing to look at. What does it, what is the quality that they want? Because if I don't have skilled workers, I can't you know basically promise them this. Uh, it has a lot of features. Uh, so what do we need? These features aren't really important. You want you want to know what the, what the requirements are. So we need a level one to the audio. So that means one star in two D. Level two audio. That means two star in art in art two D, and level two in three D. So if we take a look at this. Uh, let's take my character. He doesn't have what he needs, but that's okay. So we needed one star in 2D, two stars in 3D art, and two stars in audio art. That's what you need. Of course, you don't need one person to do this. You can have multiple persons. So if you have like a, an art team like we do, we can easily do this. But at the start of the game, you can pro can't probably do this. You won't see these at the right start of the game. Uh, but they will pop up if you're doing well in these contracts and you will grow your reputation uh, fast enough You will get more of these uh, contracts uh, to work with and you have to make sure that these are actually done for so That's contract work. It's actually not that not not that in uh, Impressive to do but then we go to deals, which is a way more efficient way of doing things now I have set a filter here. So let's just go to all uh, and there are different things you could do. Let's just use the filter. So you could do designing deals, which I really like. Uh, development deals, I don't really like. Support, sometimes marketing, sometimes hosting. It depends if you have good servers. Printing, depends if you have good printing capacity. And IP, I don't even know what IP is. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, but I haven't seen any of them come through. I don't even know what it is. I wouldn't bank on it if being there. So. Let's just leave it there. So what we have one active deal right now, which is a hosting deal. This is the very easiest of deals. Just make a good server, make sure it has enough capacity, accept the hosting deal, put it on a server, and it will just make you money passively. The only thing that can happen is that it overloads your server. You have to be careful about that because that will not only make this uh, client very angry and it will dip down your reputation, uh, but it will also not make you money and it will also make sure that you can't sell digital copies of your own stuff on that server. So make sure to, to have a good server or like I do, I have different servers. So I have the DDN, which is my digital distribution network. That's basically everything that goes digital on, uh, for us on, on products is on that one. And I keep it totally separate from other ones um, because that's the one that most of the time will overload. So that's that. Uh, other things to so support, so you basically help out someone with their uh, with the support on their product. If you have a very big support team and people, you know, and they don't really have something to do, you can take small contracts for support to get that little bit extra money. Um, it's a good way to grow your reputation a bit quicker. Uh, I don't, I, I own. I don't recommend using this at the start because most of the time these products outgrow your company very fast if you're a small company. So you can make a little bit of money out of it, but then you have to reject it um, before they get mad at you basically. Now we have uh, design, which I really like. I actually have a strategy encompassing this entire design deal into it. So make sure you get to three stars because after three stars business reputation, you will get designing deals coming in. Of course. If you want all these deals, you need a reception and a receptionist. I totally forgot to explain that. Um, that's a thing. Uh, <laughs> but if you have that, then you can offer free stars. You can get design deals. Now, if you have a good designing team or even one guy in design, you can just take these and you can take like two or three of them, design them, make sure that they are at least one iteration 
in and then just pass them and they will just make you pass passively make you money and you won't even work on them of course if you want a bigger bonus you could still work on them or you could just uh make sure you know develop them and, and give it back to the client and say you know it's done uh but you could also have them just sitting there passively making you money so that's a very very good way of doing it development i don't really like basically what you do is you develop a product for someone else you could in my opinion always you're always better off working on your own product um uh, I, the only thing I could see is if you really need someone to work on something, you could do this. But most of the time, you, when you're actually at the point that you have that, you have so many different things to, to have them to work on because you're probably a bigger company. At the start, you won't really use this. So that marketing sometimes when you have a marketing team. But again, at the start, you probably don't have a marketing team. So make sure to you know do this when you have a bigger marketing team you don't really have much for them to do you can take one of these jobs a smaller job as a sort of a side project but otherwise i won't do it printing jobs are pretty nice because if you have good printing capacity and you're not really printing much for yourself you can take the smaller jobs and even go to the bigger ones if you have really good capacity um and they will actually they can pay you a lot of money if you do this well uh but again it's more situational uh and whenever we're back to support so guys, I hope you understand uh, quite what it is, uh, what these deals do and what the contract work do, does uh, and how you can implement this in your strategies early game because that's basically when you're gonna use it the most in my opinion and when it's the most important to use it. Uh, but yeah, I don't wanna ramble on much longer on this because it's not that complicated, but it's just something you have to think about uh, to make sure uh, to get a hanger, to get a grip on because it's more important uh, in this alpha than in, in alphas before it because you can make a, a lot of money out of it and you can definitely keep your company afloat just by doing these deals whilst working on products. So as always, I hope you have enjoyed. I've been Hippo and you've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome and thanks for watching.